hi and welcome back so in this video as i said we are going to create an embedded form just one that we can put somewhere on a page and use it so so here i will say create a new form and then i will choose embedded you can choose one of the embedded forms here let me choose this one this time around and i will say embedded form then for this one let me create another list create new and call it embedded form now this list are specific to mailmunch this is not the same as the ones for mailchimp or for get response or for anywhere else these are lists that will be stored here on mailmunch so i'll create this list and then create form and there is my form so for this one for this one i can say learn mailchimp for free and then i can change the message here to say join the mailchimp class and then and then on the footer i'll just say i will be good with your email just that and then now the thank you message as i did in the other in the other forms this is where i will add the link to the mailchimp course so here i'll say thanks and then join the mailchimp class here so i will link to that is class i will link to mailchimp mailchimp class and then i will link insert link Control v and then i want it to open in a new tab then i will insert that one right there and then down here i'll just say thanks and uh, that's how it will be for them Just that I can't even remove this section. So if someone subscribes, they'll just see this and then they can go ahead and join the class. Let me add some spacing here. I can see there's no spacing. There we go. And just with that, save and continue. I can change the background color just the same old things you know once you create the first form these things are just the same so button i want to change the background let's use something that's slightly green okay and uh, text let the text remain so everything else is there anything here nothing really and then save and continue if you want to add maybe a uh, first name second name just come here click first name last name whatever you want to add if you want a lot more details maybe this is a registration for some kind of event you can add other details that they will need to fill in so if you want to do that just come here and add any of them so that's how you'd add another field you just come here select one and then click on it let's say name then you give it the label that you want if it is name there and then placeholder you can see that uh, for us we are not showing the labels but if you want to show the label you'll just click there to show the label but this is better and if you want it to be required then you'll put that so that they have to fill that or they are not going to be let through to the thank you page so I'll delete this one and I also want to change this button let me just say join class 
and that's it for this form then I will save and continue so here under behavior same old things if someone subscribes do you want them to go to another link I just want them to go to the thank you page on the very same form so hide from users already subscribed yeah definitely then display rules desktop mobile tablets same old things you know new display rule if you want to display uh this i know by now you're really good at this you're just wondering why i'm still going over them but anyway if you want to hide this form just the same old things just come here say you don't show on then urls that exactly match something you'll have to paste in the entire url url starting with you'll have to paste in the domain name urls ending with you'll have to put in the actual thing that comes after your website like for instance if i don't want it to show on mailchimp or mailmunch i would just come here and put this one control c if my website was this app.mailmunch.co i would just come here and put in that one that then slash the sites and it won't be shown on this page so i don't really have any rules for this let me save and continue and here you can add it to the list in any of these other places if you have an account on aweber you have an account on get response infusionsoft contact contact you can just link them integrate them with mailmunch 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 really works well and uh, i can tell you that from experience especially the pop-up it works really well as long as you don't have many forms people are going to start subscribing so if you want to link that to any of these other guys it is a good thing to do and if you want something that is really affordable and you don't have any uh, you don't have uh, any plans of uh, of uh, paying for this uh, and at the same time you also don't have subscribers you can start with Mail mailchimp because mailchimp will give you 2000 subscribers for free you can send them you can send them uh, emails uh, you can you can collect emails you can embed mailchimp forms anywhere but this is a course about but this is a tutorial about mail munch so this would be a nice way if you want to start from zero mailchimp is good and get response is good but it will give you a free a free trial for a whole month of everything so if you want to try get response just go and try it for a whole month every feature is accessible for free for a whole month after that you'll have to to upgrade so for this one let me just say i want to use mailchimp and then same old things you know do you want people to confirm their opt-in this is usually very good but i don't want to do it because at least it gives you people that want to be in your list it doesn't give you people that just want free stuff so if you really want quality leads you need to turn this on and then welcome email you can just go to mailchimp and do this i did a full course on this how you can edit those mailchimp lists welcome email list if you join that course you can go straight to that part about uh, other mailchimp forms and emails then choose your active list active list i want to use this one for the one that i created and this one just the email is required and that's good because this form for mailmunch only has one field and just with that i will publish my form and now you see with this one we have this so you can take this code and embed it on any website any website that you have this will work now let me just save that because i might need it someday in future so i will come to i will come to my website here and let me say pages oh uh, let me just create a new one now i will call this sub scribe i want to add that code so i'll go here into text paste in that code make sure you go to text 
if you want to paste in the code and then I will publish. Let me go and see how my form is. If I scroll down, let it load and once it loads, that's how my form is. So I'm using a WordPress website here for the demonstration. However, if you take that code and you put it on any website, you put it on any web page, the form will show up. You can even take that code and put it on a WordPress widget and use a text widget to add that code and this form will show up on the widget area. So this is good. Let's say you want to, uh, you are holding an event and you want only people who have subscribed to a certain list to come. You can go to MailMunch, create a list, create an embed form, and then share the link on your social media and tell people, go to it, this go to this page and sign up. And then all the details that they put here will be stored in MailMunch, in MailMunch. And if you connect MailMunch with MailChimp, all the details will also be transferred to MailChimp. So the good thing about MailChimp, MailMunch, even on the free account, you can create as many forms as you want and you can have as many subscribers as you want. So when it gets to a point where you want to upgrade uh, because you want to try some more features, just go ahead and try uh, any of the other subscriptions. But that's all up to you. So in the next video, we are going to do our final form. So I did tell you that I was going to go through all the kinds of forms that we have and all the kind of forms that we can have using MailMunch. So I'll see you in the next video.